Hello friends, welcome. In this video I'm going to display the movies and height. I'm going to add a button here and I'm going to display them conditionally. So when we click to the button, it's going to hide and show. So let's go in the VS Code. And if we are in the Vue.js, we just can say add a state here and can say V if the state is that one. But with React, we are working with uh, JavaScript. So we don't have that V if and all the V directives. So let's add the state here. I'm going to say show movie or show movies. Let's say something like this. And initially, this is going to be false. Now here in the render, I'm going to say let show movies and say this dot state. So I'm going to get that show movies here. So this state from the state and I'm going to add a button after the H1 say button. And on click of this button, so let's say on click here, and I'm going to add a callback function here and say now this dot set state. And I'm going to add an object. Now this show movies of the state is going to be what that is not. So the movie. So it's going to be the opposite. And let's say show movies now to this one. Save this. And we have this button. Now how we can hide and show the list of movies here. Let's add the div. Here just to see we have them inside the div and let's save it okay now what i said if we are in the vue.js we can say just v if something like this but with react we don't have that and one way but it's not the preferred way is to say here so for example uh, if the show movies is true and if that is, is true, it's going to show the movies is not, it's going to hide. So if I save that, we don't see it. If I click, it's showing, click high, show high. But I think this is not the preferred way. Another way is to add a ternary expression here. So ternary condition, if I say show movies, if this is true, it's going to show otherwise. Let's say not here, nothing. Or you can add no movies or refresh, show movies, hide, show movies, hide. Or we can say here, for example, a string, no movies. And yeah, we have no movies and we show. But this is not the preferred way. The preferred way is to create here in the render before we return. So let's check here. If I'm going to create a, a variable, let uh, render movies and lend assign with the null here. And here, I'm going to say now, if the show movies is true, this render movies is going to be 
with this movie. Now I'll remove that conditional here. And I'm going to copy this, cut this div and paste it in this render. And now here, instead of uh, adding this code, I'm going to add this variable render movies. So render movies now is, if it's true, this render movies is going to display the movies. Otherwise it's going to be null, So it's not displaying nothing. After the button, let's say Coli braces and render movies. Like this, let's save it. Refresh, show movies, hide, show and hide. Okay, this is how you can show conditionally with React. So I think this is the better way. Here we create, we get the show movies we, from the state and created this render movies as null. And now if this show movies is true, we assign the render movies with the movie list, otherwise it's null. I hope you understand and if you like a content like this, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one. All the best.